What's going on, everybody? Let's talk a little quitty pay defensive end from Michigan. Six foot four, 272 pounds. In four years at Michigan, 38 games played, 28 starts. 2019 was his best season, 12 and a half tackles for loss and six and a half sacks. 2020 only played in four games. He missed two with a groin injury, had four tackles for loss and two sacks. So not highly productive, but a couple games missed with a groin injury. Uh, he was a team captain at Michigan and also a three-time academic, all Big Ten. So he's got it between the ears as well in the classroom. What are the things that I like about him? What are his Bell Bank player balance sheet assets and liabilities? Assets to me, high strung. He's jittery. He's got that twitchiness, twitchiness that everybody talks about. He has a tremendous punch and uses his hat and hands really, really well. He works to get off blocks relentlessly. And it's sort of exactly the way he is as a player. He's relentless, good change of direction, and a huge high-end motor that never quits. Uh, what are his liabilities? Mm, six foot four, doesn't seem to have the longest arms. I don't think he's the most technically sound when it comes to using his pass rushing moves. I think he gets by because of that high motor and his relentless ability, and he just has a natural athletic ability as well with his hips and his feet. So I think his short arms kind of limits him a little bit, uh, and I think that he could use some more polished and refined counter moves and pass rushing moves. But Nevertheless, he's still my number one defensive end in this draft because he can play all three downs. He's great against the run. He shows great effort, and he's disruptive when he wants to get after the passer. So here's the first play. This is 2019 against Iowa. He's going to be the right defensive end. You'll see the squatty stance out of him. He hovers just above the ground with his knees and really just fires off like a cannon into these offensive linemen. Watch how quick he is going against the left tackle. Look at that move. Look at the hand usage, the lower body strength. Watch again in real time because it's so quick. The outside shoulder head movement gets him to lean outside and that's all he needs to shoot back to the inside. He knocks down the inside hand of the left tackle right there, uses that strong, powerful leg drive to split the difference and get in between that guard and tackle to finish on the quarterback with a set. Play number two, you know what I talked about? His usage of his face and hands at the same time. This right here will be on display, right defensive end. Again, low, super low crouch, low leverage off the start. Now watch his face and hands right there. Face and hands is perfect. See how you can use your, your helmet and your eyes and your forehead as a weapon with your hands and knock that guy back. See that one initial punch using your legs, your hips, driving through that, that offensive guard, rocks him back. And then watch the hand control. Because he stuns the offensive lineman, he's able to get that separation, hold on, use the hand control, flip his hips, and get another sack. Play number three for Quiddy Pay is very similar to the play you just watched. Again, it's gonna be an inside move, you're gonna see hat and hands, but again, I want you to see now and just point out his motor. He's relentless. The guy never stops. He never stops getting to the quarterback. He bowls over. Watch him bowl over that offensive guard. Boom, knock him on his ass. Now get to the quarterback, get knocked down. Now keep going. All right, doesn't get to the quarterback, but he absolutely affects the play and affects the throw. You can be a disruptor. It doesn't have to show up in the stat books. And that play did not show up in the stats. But you watch him and you watch how disruptive this guy can be. It's freaking awesome. Play number four, let's jump into 2020 film. The last three plays against Iowa and Notre Dame was back in 2019. This is the first game of the season in 2020. I mentioned that he's a three down defensive end in my mind. And this is the type of play that shows me that he can play the run and he plays the run with equal force as he does getting after the passer. So here he is as a right defensive end. You'll notice he's now in a two point stance in which he will jump up from a three point to a two point shows that he's comfortable in both stances and has an equal powerful get off. Watch how he rocks back this left tackle. We're going to rock him back. He completely owns this left tackle right from the get go. Good hat and hands again, good lower body explosion. That explosion right there and rocking that guy back allows him to get separation with his arms, use the hand control, get his body in a good position to get off 
and make the play in the run game. This last play here for Quiddy Pay, I'm going to show him as a left defensive end, a true speed rush on the outside against the right tackle. There's a lot to like on here, especially his hip turn. Look how beautiful that hip turn is. Now, again, I don't think that fundamentally he's great at his hand swipes. See, that's not outstanding. Doesn't even really knock the guy's hands down, but he does just enough to get him off balance. You see how the offensive lineman now is like kind of leaning this way with his head and shoulders. He's already sort of won the leverage battle. Now, what I love here is that right there. Look at that hip turn. That hip turn and that lower body, that's what puts himself continuously in good positions to be disruptive and to get after the quarterback. And that's exactly what clears him from the right tackle and allows him to get the sack. So that's Quiddy Pay. Look, he's high strung. He's twitchy. He's got a great punch and uses his hat and hands really well. He's great against the run and he's got a high, high end motor that doesn't stop. So that is why Quiddy Pay, in my opinion, is the number one defensive end or edge guy, if that's what you're looking for as far as positions in the 2021 NFL Draft.